Hey folks, welcome back to boy Old Murph here in Old Murph's Kitchen, here on day two of our coffee bean experience with the Roto Q360 basket. Now, I say day two because you have to wait 24 hours for your beans to degas. So here we are, our beans have degas. We're gonna throw them in the grinder, put it in the percolator, and see what we got. Stay tuned. What is this supposed to mean? With our roasted coffee beans that have degassed over 24 hours, this is a light to medium roast. The beans are green beans from Nicaragua, roasted here in our Roto Q360 with the basket. Remember, no battery, no gas, no fuel. So you take your beans, you add them to your grinder here, throw this on top, and give this about 20 seconds. You can hear when the, the beans are pretty much powdered out. Take a look, whoa, that aroma just nailed me. Was not expecting that power. Uh, like I always say, I wish you guys could smell this. I'm like, what, a foot and a half away? This just nailed me, almost knocked me on my bum. All right, so here we are, folks, at the percolating portion of our coffee bean experiment with the Roto Q360 basket. Remember, folks, no battery, no gas, no fuel. So here's my coffee setup doesn't get more basic simple than this coffee filter this little doohickey you can pick up at a any supermarket for a few bucks and of course good old hot water so simply one two scoops of the nicaraguan green bean made with the roto q and then my hot water And wait for the percolation. All right, folks, and this concludes our coffee bean experiment with the Roto Q360 basket. Here you can have a fresh cup of joe at your home, at your own convenience, anytime. Now be sure to add Cream, sugar, milk, whatever you like. I like mine. It's got some kick. <laughs> Delicious, folks. Hey, uh, subscribe to these videos, and if you like it, please just leave, leave a like. It means a lot to us. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, Team Roto Q360 will always get back to you. Thank you, folks, and as always, don't thank me. Thank the Roto Q360.